Welcome back you guys. Today we are checking out the Keck Lock C Temple here in Georgetown. It's supposed to be one of the best here and we are so excited to show you guys. So it was four ringgit per person, so eight ringgit in total. Arlo was free and that was to take the buggy up to stations two and three and then we have to take a cable car which we'll have to pay for to get up to station four which is a large statue. This is a Buddhist temple. It is actually the largest Buddhist temple in all of Malaysia. It is also a very important temple for a lot of other Buddhists in other countries such as China, Philippines, Singapore, and for their pilgrimage. So this is a very prominent Buddhist temple in all of Asia. All right, guys, hopefully you can hear me. It is pouring right now outside. Uh, but anyways, we are at the new prayer ground. It costs two ringgit per person to enter. And let's walk in right now. This architecture is so astounding. We got all of these amazing Buddhist statues. So they have some wishing ribbons you can get for a ringgit apiece, and we're getting one for Arlo. I think for us, it's most important that Arlo's happy and healthy. Nothing else matters. To put some love into it, Lyndon. I'm putting love into it. All right, here we go. On to the wishing ribbon tree, I guess you could call it. Yeah. And for us, I'm choosing booming business. Booming business. Simple. All right. I'm putting some love into it. All right. Right on top of Arlo's. Right on top of Arlo's. Now we have a little walk to the pagoda. We'll see how it goes because of the rain. Run! Run! So we have now entered into the pagoda. It is quite beautiful has a quite a stunning view of the city as you can see right there. So just some interesting facts about the pagoda. The construction started in 1913 and was ended in 1927. It stands 100 feet high and it is actually one of the most important landmarks here for all of Malaysia. So the architecture of this pagoda combines Chinese, Thai, and Burmese all together and let me tell you, it looks absolutely stunning. Now that we have walked around the pagoda for a little bit, we are headed back to the other side of the temple. There is more to explore, so we'll see you in a few minutes. So the cable car costs six ringgit per person, so twelve dollars in total for both of you. So not bad. It only takes cash. So we were just waiting for the cable car and now we are in, heading up to the Kuan Yin statue. We have a little bit longer, not too bad, but it's really cool. You have a great view of the city actually. It's kind of hard to tell because the windows are a bit wet. But yeah, we're excited to show you the Kuan Yin statue. All right guys, we're headed to the statue. We were about to get a little wet though. <laughs> run baby, run! 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 Alright, so we have just walked to the rain, got a little wet, that's alright. But we are now right in front of the statue of Quan Yin and it is gorgeous. Very, it's very impressive. But anyways, Quan Yin is the goddess of mercy. She's the one that hears the world cry. Her five major virtues are mercy, modesty, courage, wisdom, and justice. Usually you can actually walk up in there, but right now it is under renovation, so we cannot go in there. So just keep that in mind when you arrive. If you wanted to go in, you cannot. So that is going to wrap up our time here at the Kek Lok Si Temple. We definitely recommend coming here. Hopefully you won't have rain when you come. It's such an important cultural landmark here in Penang and in all of Malaysia. So it's definitely worth coming to check it out. As always, thank you for watching. It means the world to us. And if you could, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss next week. Alright, we'll see you guys tomorrow.